In a kingdom long forgotten, the king has written a letter to his love. But he is worried about the message being stolen by a rival lord. So he has commissioned the royal blacksmith to design a series of boxes and locks to keep the message safe. The king includes one of his special keys in a separate box, which the princess will need to unlock the message box. Your Highness. I have done as you asked. The box is complete. Excellent! Now my message will be secure. Explain it to me again? Well, Your Majesty, it's quite simple. Your message is locked inside this box, the key for which is sealed separately. Making your message inside very secure and confidential. Let me send a message to my love. Now we close this box, unlock it with this special key, which is included in that small box. That box is then locked with this key that the princess gave us, and can only be unlocked by a key she has at her castle. Fantastic! Truly you have outdone yourself, Quickly. Send this message to my love. I think she will be most pleased. Right away, Your Majesty. And so the king's most trusted knights set off to deliver the letter. And, after many days of travel, they reach their destination. My lady. A message from the king. Yay! Word from my love. My lady. Use your special key to unlock the first box. Another key? It opens this box, your highness. What does my lord have to say? My dear love, it has been too long since we last saw each other. I miss you with all my heart. Love, the king. What a kind, loving king. The user's message is compressed before being sent. In this example, the king's letter is rolled up so that it fits in the box. The message is encrypted with a secret key. This key acts as a session key, which is only used during this instance. In this example, the key is represented by the king's key, which has a unique key head. This key is sealed in a separate box, which can only be opened by a key the princess owns. The secret key is then encrypted with the public key of the receiver, which means only the receiver can decrypt the message with their private key. Here, the princess has provided the king with a key which can be used to lock the small box. The key has a unique head to identify it. The data packet, the encrypted message and the secret key is delivered to the receiver. Here, the knights carry the two boxes, one containing the king's key and the other containing the message for the princess. Once the message has been received, the receiver uses their private key to decrypt the encrypted session key. The princess has a third key identified with a different key head, which she uses to unlock the small box. Using the private key reveals the session key. The princess finds the king's key in the box after using her key to unlock it. The secret key allows the receiver to decrypt the message. The princess uses the king's key to open the second box which reveals the message. With the message decrypted, the receiver can decompress the message and read it. Having used the secret key to open the big box, the princess can unroll the letter and read what the king has to say. 